Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now there could be a combo of these two types of triangles. For example, a right angle triangle can also be an isosceles triangle because for example, let's take this example. This is a right angle triangle. Why? Because there is one angle which is equal to 90 degree. So therefore we have one angle as 90 degree. But at the same time, in the same triangle, we also see another property that the length of this side BC is equal to the length of the side AB. So here we see that AB is equal to BC. This is also true. And at the same time, angle B is equal to 90 degree. This is also true. Now, since these both conditions are true for the same triangle, so this triangle is right angle triangle. This triangle is also isosceles triangle. So together, this triangle is a right angled isosceles triangle. So we can also have these kind of combos where depending on the sides, we can say whether it is scalene isosceles or equilateral. And depending on the angle, we can say whether it is acute, right or obtuse. But not all the combinations are possible. So we will have a look at that as well. Let's look at this one. This is also a right angle triangle because we have a 90 degree here. But in this case, all the three sides are unequal. So this is a right angled scalene triangle. So let's check the possibility of combination between equilateral scalene isosceles and right angled obtuse angled acute angled triangle. Now, when we talk about a scalene triangle, it can be acute, right or obtuse. So basically a scalene triangle where all the three sides are unequal. This kind of a triangle can be an acute angle triangle that is all angles are less than 90 degree. That is possible. So this is a scalene acute. This is a scalene right triangle. So that because one angle is 90 degree. And this is a scalene obtuse because out of the three angles, one angle is more than 90 degree. So therefore, a scalene triangle can be acute scalene triangle, it can be right angled scalene triangle, it can be obtuse angled scalene triangle. Now when it comes to isosceles triangle, this can also be acute right or obtuse. That means you can have an isosceles triangle which is acute. That means all the three angles are less than 90 degree and two sides are equal. So this is acute isosceles triangle. It could also be possible that one angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree and two sides are equal in length. So this is isosceles triangle which is right angled. This is also possible that one angle is greater than 90 degree. That is one angle is obtuse and two sides are equal. So this is obtuse angled isosceles triangle. So in case of isosceles triangle also all the three possibilities are possible. When it comes to equilateral triangle, an equilateral triangle can only be acute because in equilateral triangle, we want all the three angles should be equal. All the three sides should be equal. All the three angles should be equal. Now for all the three angles to be equal, they need to be less than 90 degree because the sum of the three angles should be 180 degree. So when all the three angles are equal, that means let us say that e the value of each angle is x. So that means x plus x plus x should be equal to 180 degree. So from this we can say that 3x is 180 degree or we can say x is equal to 60 degree. That means the value of each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degree. So there is no question of a right angled equilateral triangle because for a right angled triangle one angle must be 90 degree. But in an equilateral triangle all the angles are 60 degree. So an equilateral a right angled equilateral triangle is not possible. An obtuse angled equilateral triangle is also not possible. Only an acute equilateral triangle is possible. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.